<laughs> All right. I am going. Just want to uh, take a second or two uh, to say how much I, I love and I appreciate this. Um, and I appreciate you uh, for allowing me to indulge myself uh, with this uh, by simply viewing uh, the videos. Um, we had a quick, quick turnaround on, on our position in FAZ. Um, and I mentioned in the last video was, that was literally, I think, what, yesterday, day before yesterday, um, that 37 or 38 is uh, what we were uh, looking for um faz to get up to and so we have uh made that um made that number um i did mention about being cautious going into fas uh just because of the the previous drop off the other thing that was really important for me uh to mention uh today is over the years that i've been doing this holding uh positions over the weekend um, is, is not um, ideal, uh, especially when you're dealing with an, a leveraged uh, bear, which tends to lose value over time. So um, I don't want to be in FAZ uh, longer than what I have to, uh, but I do want to also uh, try to capitalize on any uh, possible gains um, that I can see from this uh, uh, downtrend continuing uh, into Monday and possibly next week um so we, we we see here we have a big drop in fas uh back in you know first of february end of uh, january and so when we look longer trend uh, we see that fas has been bouncing off of this line uh right around 55 56 and we're currently at 58 and so um while i am not going to enter into fas right now um looking for that bounce off this line um, i am going to uh, put what's called a trailing stop on my faz position so let me show you what that looks like now being that uh, these leveraged etfs move around so much um, i am um, expecting um, to be stopped out of my position pretty quick um, but um, we'll just see how that goes. Um, if I get out of FAZ early, I'm not mad because I've made my money. You know what I mean? Um, but if I can get just a little bit more out of it, then I definitely want to do that. And I'm really curious to see where FAS is going to go. Um, if, in fact, FAS does bounce off this line, then I'll cash out of FAZ and I'll wait for my next opportunity to get into FAS um, because I definitely... Um, don't want to be uh, too, too early, especially uh, with what we've seen uh, just recently over the past month. I'm waiting for this to load. Uh, I've been having Internet issues, it seems, for the last couple of weeks. All right. So here we go. Show you what we're looking at. And I was just really... Um, really amazed at this number being just spot on it's right at 38 and so we put our line there on 38 you see that's the number that we were bouncing off of as resistance uh in the long-term trend anyway and so we see this most recent uh jump up again end of january beginning of, of february and so the question is whether or not we revisit um these highs okay or if um, if we're just going to uh, bounce off of this resistance and head back down uh, to um, you know our 30 ish range um, where we've kind of been playing around at there's also uh, bounce off of 22 as well uh, to consider so um, like I said I'm gonna put a trailing stop on this thing uh, currently just because i'm talking about it uh the price is 525 and so what i'll do is I, right now i'm gonna try my best to uh get out if it falls below 520 
and then if it goes above uh, the 520, then I'll just stay in my position and uh, and and see where it goes. But if it gets below 520, I'm gonna go ahead and just cash out. Um, and I do expect that to happen just because this thing does move around so much, even just from like the beginning of the morning to you know um, in the first hour of market opening. Years and years and years ago, I used to sit in front of the computer and, and watch this thing, you know, like a hawk from the very beginning of a market open. But I'm not doing that anymore. You know, if it's if it drops uh, to 520, I'm just going to get out. It's not that serious. Um, but anyway, but that's where we are. So um, next time I'll update you is when something interesting happens. Um, hopefully uh, that'll uh, be getting back into um, FAS at some um entry point and from then I'll